Hello guys and welcome to the latest episode of Station Feature and welcome to episode number 17, yes I remembered. And at, today we're at Menheniot, located on the Cornish Main Line. So, uh, in this video today I'm going to be giving you a brief, uh, not brief, a sort of a detailed uh, analysis, idea, into what the facilities here at Menheniot are like and what the general area is like. Uh, today's interview will be with Miles. Uh, I will be behind the camera for this interview because there's no one else here to hold the camera. <laughs> so I'll be behind it, I'll just focus the camera on Miles and ask him the questions and yeah. Miles is like, fire away! <laughs> <laughs> um, anyway, so, uh, yeah. So this station's quite interesting and there's quite a bit to talk about here at the station. So I do look forward to talking to you, you guys about it and hearing from Miles in a bit. So yeah, let's get started here at Menhenia. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to start at the entrance. So this is Menhenia's entrance. It's basically one big slope. Uh, there's the station sign. It's filthy. And it's a BR logo. I always look out for them. Um, this is a bit random. It's a fire assembly point. So I suppose if there was ever a fire alarm, where is the fire alarm? Then the fire assembly point would be here. Uh, unless it's for that building site over there, which I'll talk to you about in a minute. Uh, but as you walk down here, I'm not going to go all the way out, but Menhenia is a little village. In Cornwall. It's, I've never been in here, and I don't think I ever will <laughs> unless like I'm here and not actually coming here for trains but I don't know why I would do that because there's not a lot to see here uh, it's just a little hotel out of it, outside here very nice uh, the sportsman's arms hotel very nice right so um, this is the entrance to Menhenia so you walk up that's to focus on the entrance there's a green gate over here which is to a building site where they're doing a lot of work and I'm gonna ask Miles about that in a bit uh, but yeah this is the entrance to Menhenia looking very nice, well, on a bit of a muddy slope to be fair. Not a lot of cars coming in and out, it doesn't look like it anyway. Right, so this is the little gate that takes you into Menhenia. Um, it does say on here that this car park is only allowed to be used for rail users. Uh, you better get off, you're not a rail user, you're just standing on the platform. No, no, joking. <laughs> of course. Um, yeah. So there is a little car park, but there's obviously no allocated spaces, so probably there's very angry drivers like, you move out of my way. <sighs> it must be crazy in it. There's no allocated spaces, there's no thing to say, you can park here. No your white lines or anything, it's just there, it's just grit. So, uh, this is platform number one, and this is for trains to Penzance. This is the platform I got off of. And, of course, you have to press the yellow button. Your call is being connected. So, please wait. Let's see what happens. Please wait. Hopefully, not another Camborn. <laughs> what, what happened to Camborn? London Paddington, it was really please loud. Wait. It was so funny. This station is Menhenyet. There are no trains due to leave this platform within the next 60 minutes. There is a timetable poster available at the station, or please phone. 08457 484950 for National Rail. Cheers, Anne. Cheers, Anne. Yeah, okay, so. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, this is platform one. There's no trains here for the next 60 minutes, and we'll explain why in a minute. Uh, and this is uh, platform two's over there. We'll go take a look at that in a minute. The view on platform one, not bad. Uh, well, actually, it's really good. So, you got down there, it looks a bit like a valley. It's beautiful. Uh, surrounding uh, trees everywhere, it's beautiful. And over here is Menhenia Viaduct. So uh, you see the trains curving around over here across that viaduct. It's a lot more visible than Truro Road. Right but Liscard's Viaduct, you can obviously see right down, it's well, brilliant. It's just straight in it, so. And it's amazing. Um, but yeah, they've got HST stopping points here, which I have no idea why. Yeah, they need to take them away. Yeah, they need to take them away because when do HST stop here? Ones for the um, IETs as well, look, the purple one. I guess the 2 plus 4 HST makes sense because they'll stop here when they come into service, but... 2 plus 4 HST? Yeah, they'll stop here. What, 4 coach HST? Yeah, when, when they come into service. Oh, the, um... The low... Yeah, when GW will keep their other HSTs, so they're going to put them in more local what, services. Huh? I'll explain in a minute. Um, there's one on test tomorrow. Down here, it's stopping here as well. Um... So, yeah, um... There's a footbridge over there. It uh, doesn't look very stable, which is something we'll have a look at in a minute. And there's the Cornwall capacity, blah, 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 blah. You've seen that enough. Um, 
and over here is the do not pass point and there is also a little bridge here so you can obviously see over the bridge or the railing anyway there's a little pub a little hotel it's a ho hotel isn't it is it a hotel pub uh, it's like a B, it's like a B and B pub sort of. Oh, thing, it's a mix of the two then. I've, I've never really seen anyone go in and stay there. <laughs> they get much business then. It's just the case that people go in there for a pint and a, a bowl of chips after. A bit of a chin wag. Yeah, like, you know, if there's rugby on on a Sunday or something, I'll go in there and watch it. Oh, okay, right. So that, that's the curve here, looking very nice. So let's move on to our next feature. <laughs> the Van Henny alcoholic. Yeah. The, all right. Okay. There's loads of beer cans here. What the hell? Someone has been seriously drinking, and whether it's all at once... Well, to be fair, it might have been me when uh, 43147 came past. I, had to... <laughs> I hear you drowned your sorrows. Drowned my sorrows at the side of the station. I don't think you'd have survived after that many cans. <laughs> um, but yeah, there's a whole load of beer cans over there, and all of them are still artois, so very posh. Ah, oh, that's the best bit. Uh, you can just see it through the radio there. What on earth is... Who drank all that? Or was it just a load of mates like, oh yeah, I'm going at station. Yeah, we're going to have a proper Sorry. right laugh here. <laughs> There's nothing to see here. Yeah, that's enough. We can make as much noise as we want. It won't get told off. Yeah, that sounds about right. Okay, let's move on. Uh, Manhattan at station sign here is Ferris Great Western Branded. And interestingly enough, one of the station signs here doesn't actually fit. The font is too big. Not this one though. Uh, but there is another one around. I'll find it. When I do find it, we'll look at it. So, and there's a bench. So let's move on. Okay, passing through now is a service from Great Western Railway service from Exeter St. David to Penzance. It's 153369. What on earth happened there? And 153318. And someone just chucked a pack of munchies right outside. I think it was kicked up. I think it was, yeah. That's 153369 and 153318. First time I've seen 318 in ages. First time I've seen a blue 153 in ages. <laughs> yeah, I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. Okay, so, uh, here we've got the timetable for Menhenia. I imagine it's not very big, but it's Penzance to Plymouth stuff, so it's probably not going to be very evident. But, on a Monday to Friday, it is at Menhenia. Uh, 1626 is the first train to Penzance, 1729 and 1845. So literally, you have to wait till 4 p.m. for the first train down to Cornwall on the Monday to Friday. On a Saturday, um, it is 10.14, which is when I got off of, 16.17 and 18.19. And on a Sunday, it's 10.29 and 17.58. So two trains. I want to go over the other side and fill the... Uh, All right. Train. And on this side is obviously the facility information and uh, just saying about the railway upgrade that's happening uh, next week. So yeah, that's the timetable information. And it, it literally is a pavement that just leads all the way up to it. So it kind of looks like you have to kneel before the timetable. It's kind of funny. It's like the timetable is God and you must follow God, the God of the timetable. The good thing is about Manhattan because it's on Monday night, you can, and there's no CCTV, you can have a sight on the platform. How about you don't do that? Because you're on camera when you said that. <laughs> oh, fuck you. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're on Manhattan's footbridge, and this is a bit, I, I think it's quite unstable. <laughs> it used to be compared to what it was. Uh, if you go up here, this is the view over the footbridge. So. Don't do that, you make, you make me more worried than what I already am. Um, so this is the view over there, the valley view as I like to call it, it's lovely. And over here's the view just near the viaduct there, very nice indeed. And then as you go over here, this is the other side that takes you over to platform 2 and we'll go take a look at that in a minute once I've cleared some storage out. So yes, uh, oh hello. What's that? Something... Hang on a minute. Is that my hand? Yes it is. Oh well. Right, okay. Okay, so here's the other side to Mount Heniot's plat well, station. We're just walking down the footbridge steps. They do have signs here that tell you to use the handrail at all times. It is kind of important, especially on a bloody unstable footbridge like this. Um, 
And there's another Manhattan Station sign. Still haven't found the big one yet. Uh, I don't even think they have it. I might just be seeing things. Anyway, so this is uh, Manhattan's waiting shelter. And a bit like uh, various stations I've been to so far, it's completely out in the open and has absolutely no windows and nothing to really keep you warm. So again, it's a bit like various stations. Um, so it's not fantastic. And I wouldn't press that because it's just going to say the same as what Platform 1 said. I can trust, trust me on that one. Uh, and here is the station information for Penzance to Plymouth. So, the trains from Penzance to Plymouth that call at Manhenia, we have, on a Monday to Friday, we have 7.32, 13.13, 14.29, 16.22, 20.49. On a Saturday, 7.14, 12.11, 13.15, 16.24, 20.39, and 22.42, which is from Newquay. And Sunday, 13.38 and 20.33, there's only two, yeah. so not very many at all. That's the thing I think they should improve on, Yeah. is the Sunday services. Yeah, the Sunday services only have two, whilst towards Plymouth, they have a load more going towards the Plymouth alone. than going away. Don't press it, because it'll just like go through to like, uh, well, it'll just go through to like emergency services or anything, National Rail, yeah. whatever, it probably won't be best to press it, because <laughs> you're not in any form of emergency. Um, so also over here, just a few more advertisements on the billboards. Uh, five go on a great Western adventure. How many times have I seen that advert now? I watch I watch uh, ITV a lot, so it always comes up on ITV Hub whenever I watch it on my phone or my tablet. It's like, five go on a great Western adventure, and then there's a bloody 166 in Penzance, and I'm like, what are you doing there? Who drew that? Seriously, it's a GWR's advert, and they put a 166 in Penzance. And an 802, but an 802 makes sense. Uh, how many of you have seen that advert? Please comment if you've seen that advert. Because seriously, that advert is so inaccurate and it's GWR's own advert. Yeah. How on earth? Right, anyway. I think I think they might have just hired someone and they just did it wrong. <laughs> Probably. Anyway, so, uh, yeah. So the view down here is very nice. Um, the view over there isn't very good, in my opinion. It's not fantastic. And as you walk down here, there isn't really a lot more to see except for just some vegetation to the left. Uh, but in general, this is Manhenia in the nutshell. So it is a pretty station. And I really, really like it. So, on to the interview with Mr. Miles now. Okay, so I'm here with Miles, who is a ish local. It's in Manhenia. Lives in Launceston, isn't it? Yeah, so Miles rode his motorbike down here to Manhenia to join me today. Um, he's obviously been to Manhattan quite a few times, so I thought he might be the perfect guy for this. <laughs> so, hello Miles, You're good on. to see you again. Yeah. Uh, so, first question for you is, what can you tell me about Manhattan? Well, it's, it's a nice station in my opinion, it's probably my favourite on the Cornish Main Line. Um, although it's on a map, which can be um, quite a uh, setback, the fact it sits quiet and that means there's less people using it, which means it's well, easier to maintain and, and things like that. Um, there's a DFT category F2, uh, it runs two, uh, two platforms um, and it runs uh, decent ish services. You can get to that in a second, yeah. Yeah, but it's, um, yeah, it's a good station. Um, so, was, oh, go on, yeah, go on. There's nothing to improve on, probably just. We can go into that in a minute anyway. Um, so what can you tell me about the Manhattan area, is it? Um, well, just around the corner is Cartwell, going to be a John Link Quarry, um, which is quite a popular thing, especially, especially in the summer, because um, obviously you've got the zip line, which is right across the... I, I've been to a John Link Quarry, it's yeah. amazing. Well, it's, like, it's quite expensive. <laughs> it's amazing though, it's yeah, really fun. it's good fun. Um, so yeah, if you, if you don't drive or anything, Manhattan is your place to come to get off to go there. Uh, you've got a local pub as well. Um, and other than that, there's not much else here other than farms and quarries. Is it a village or a town? It's, it's a village just like about a mile up the road. Um, so it's got sort of like your average spa shop. Church. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's sort of your average country village. Sort of oh, that's good then. Okay, so what can you tell me about the services here at Manhattan yet? The services here are, well, they have to be satisfactory, I suppose. But in my opinion, they're not good enough. Uh, I mean, on a Monday, you sort of get five services. Uh, Saturday you get about six or seven, and then on a Sunday you've only got the two which uh, run up and down. So on a Sunday they could probably put in a couple of more 
more services, which would be very beneficial for um, a lot of people. Um, I agree. But other than that, it's it's all right because the Cornish main line, you, they've got other trains running as well, so you can't have things stopping all the time. But yeah. if they could work around it and, and fit in like a couple more services each day, um, that, that would be a, a big plus because obviously they're uh, are great stations and things like that. So. Okay, so, and also this is a request stop, isn't it? So, yeah, this is or, the only request stop left on the Cornish Main Line now. Yeah. Um, so, um, there's the mandatory stops, but there's a, there's a service that the big guys make, the SCARD, um, Plymouth, Plymouth, Penzance, uh, Penzance Vector, and then you also get a Nuki service that stops here. Oh, um, Nuki Plymouth, yeah. Nuki Plymouth, which stops here on a Saturday evening at about half past ten. So, um, Wow. Like there's, a, there's, a, there's a fair range of destinations you can get to from here, but personally I think there should be some more services. Okay, so layout-wise, what, what, how would you improve the layout um, or facilities? It's, it's, it's quite a, a well-laid-out station, to be fair. It's quite spacious. Um, the only thing I could probably say is you could put some windows in the shelter and um, probably give it a fresh lick of paint because it, it's quite dirty and mouldy in places. So, yeah. Um, you want to make sure it's like clean and enjoyable, but um, just to tidy up the general tidy up of the station would be good. But there's nothing you could really change about it because it's nice, it's scenic, and it, it's got character to it. Yeah, and it kind of fits the bill for uh, the services at Xeris because obviously it's yeah. not many, so it fits the bill. Yeah. Right, it is a waiting shot, that's all you really need. Yeah, I mean, there could be a, a plastic like bus shelter or something on platform one. Oh, I agree with that, um, yeah. Because there's Nothing only one, there. one shelter here in Manhattan for the uh, up, up platform, so I think they should put um, a, pla a platform shelter on uh, the down platform, but other than that, it's, it's quite a good station. Yeah. Right, uh, so about this, I was going to ask you, this building area here. Yeah. What's, what, what's all happening here? Um, I believe it's to do with work access to the line uh, down at the end of the station. Yeah. And there's loads of um, cable drums over the way, wooden cable drums, and I think that's to do with the new signal in that's being put in uh, to replace seven fours and also um, upgrade the LED systems. But other than that, I couldn't really tell you much more about okay. it. Okay. Well, that's the gist of it, really, it's, isn't it's it? It's making work access easier to the track as well. I suppose that's what they'll do when they shut the line as well. Because going Actually, back, no, they won't. Like six months, this was all vegetation beyond where all that all those crates are. That, so, so they've gotten rid of all that. They've got rid of all the vegetation <laughs> and it's now sort of a work access. Okay. Um, so, uh, you've obviously told me your opinion on the services here, so we don't need to go over that one again. <laughs> yeah. um, so the final question then really is, uh, what's your opinion of Menhenia Station as a whole? It's a lovely station in my opinion. Um, if you a spot a lot like myself or Kieran, I'd recommend coming here. Although there's less less services than you'd normally get on, say, the South Devon mainline station such as Ivy Bridge, which I would say is quite similar to here. Um, I'd say come here, it's a lovely station, although as I said, there's not many services. It's a scenic station, plenty of photography opportunities. Uh, there's a pub as well, so if you want to go, and <laughs> go for if a if drink, wanna, yeah. If you want to go for a Coca Cola or a pint of beer or something, it's it's um, okay to do that and stay warm if there's nothing coming. So you're not going to be stuck in bored. Yeah, that's good. And the views always take you in, so it's always something to yeah. behold, I suppose, as well. All right, well, thank you, Miles. It's yeah, been awesome. brilliant talking to you. Yeah, I'm brilliant. Sure. Thank you. Okay guys, so that that basically concludes uh, Menhenia. Oh actually, no it doesn't. Let's walk over here. Uh, there's a little bridge thing over here. Oh, it's the other side of this. So let's have a look at the view. If it's absolutely nothing, then I regret just saying no, let's not stop it. Uh, let's have a look. Oh yeah, it pretty much is nothing. Oh no, it's a road. It is a road that leads all the way down there. You can't see it too. Well no you can, there you go. Uh, that's about it really. <laughs> And there's the Cornwall Capacity Enabling Scheme board hidden away somewhere in Cornwall. So thank you all for watching this station tour from Menhenia. I have to say it's been really interesting touring this little station. Very, very nice. Very, very interesting. And there's a lot of known facts, even though it doesn't look like much. So yeah. Uh, if you have liked it, you've seen it, then please do like and subscribe. And please do leave any comments because I will get back to them as and when I can, as always. Um, the next station tour then from me. I would have, actually, before I say that, I'd like to thank Miles for doing the interview. He's just gone off for a cigarette. And um, yeah, so I'd like to thank Miles for the interview. Uh, he did really well, and very informative. Knew more than what he uh, sort of led on at first because he said he wasn't too sure about how he knew about things. So yeah, but he did well. So the next station tour then is from Saltash.
saying Germans will get one, but it won't get one today because of uh, storage stuff. I just want to make sure I keep a few back for, so I have an excuse to come back to Cornwall. Um, but yeah, um, the next one is Saltash. And I say I have an excuse to come back to Cornwall because I like the county a lot. So yeah, Saltash will be the next station tour for episode 18. So I shall see you there. Thank you for watching and goodbye.